stars really are just like us. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome to the Broadway Hunger Games results. Without further ado, here we go. Even with the nomination from fellow Broadway performer Josh Lehman on his side, R. Bender Robinson was unable to pull through. Andy Carl from District Jersey Boys flashed his smile. And R. Bender died from exposure. Get it? Exposure. Continuing! The two leading ladies of this season, Casey Levy and Jessica Phillips, fought to the death. But then Casey Levy took some of her hair extensions from hair, snuck up behind Jessica Phillips, and killed her. Death by weave! Very tragic. In the Battle of the Blondes, Emily Paget versus Paloma Garcia Lee. It went back and forth until finally Emily used the power of her district, Rock of Ages, and combed out Paloma's hair. And Paloma died of embarrassment from tragic 80s hair. It happens. For real. Rory! O'Malley hit Lisa Brescia with the Book of Mormon. And sadly, she's no longer with us. She was a dancing queen. Young and seven. Continuing! Our next winning tribute, though she does not believe in violence, but we're in the Hunger Games, so... She beat Gavin Lee with fall four of her Tonys and bludgeoned him to death. Audra McDonald wins for Tribute District Porgy and Mess. Even though the power of Nick Jonas's purity ring is quite strong, there is one place it is not strong enough. The Broadway Hunger Games! That is where Montego Glover found Nick Jonas and belted him into oblivion. And just kept on belting. And next, in the Broadway Hunger Games. Continuing! In the battle of Steve Kazee versus Brandon Rubinol. It looked as if Steve was going to win from the get-go. But then, coming back from behind, Brandon tap danced all over Steve's face. And he died. His pretty face. He's dead. Although the next battle was not as bloody as Morgan versus Kushner, Donna Vivino from District Wicked this Ricky Martin from District Avita was neck and neck. In the last minute, Donna pulled out a sneak attack. She painted Ricky Martin green, saying high Fs until his ears bled. He is no longer living La Vida Loca. Sad, really. Even though Christina Saju has the spidey power, she was unable to win against Kelly O'Hara from District. Nice work if you can get it. In the tightest race in Battle Round 1, the two Jesus shows, Godspell and Jesus Christ Superstar, Morgan James and Jeremy Kushner were the tributes from those districts. They fought to the death. This particular battle was very close. They fought back and forth, back and forth, all the way to the end. They were tied until Morgan James out rift Jeremy, and Jeremy died on a cross like Jesus. A hot, hot Jesus. Happy Easter. 
Marla ever scream Mendel put up a valiant effort. But unfortunately, she fell at the hands of Nick Sixpack Adams when he took fistfuls of glitter and whilst she was belting, threw it in her face, inhaling the glitter and contaminating her lungs. That's the way they do it at Priscilla. On to the next and final winner of a Broadway Hunger Games, Anne of Drew Keenan Bolger, won by a landslide against Jason Patrick Sands. Andrew, playing Cratchy from District Newsies, took his ever famous crutch and bludgeoned the poor boy to death, whilst singing selections from Susical, so which really killed him. Thank you to all of our tributes for playing in the Broadway Hunger Games. And may the odds be ever in your favor. You're all winners to us. And Broadway's stars shine brighter with you in them. But now you're not in them because you're dead. So chorus calls will be held at the Equity Building t Monday morning at 10 a.m. for replacements for all Broadway shows aforementioned. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Just testing. Testing one, two, three! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God damn it!